Tesla wants to expose everything they've done with the Optimus robot because the manufacturer recently continued to update an improvement that, in our opinion, is worth paying attention to. You may have seen Optimus move like this or like this, but now it can move at this agile speed around the Tesla factory. Tesla's head of Optimus engineering, Milan Kovac, noted that the robot's walking speed is the fastest at 0.6 meters per second. Previously, information that Tesla would launch this robot on the market in 2025 was confirmed, but to launch it in large quantities, Elon Musk has to overcome many stressful challenges. In this episode, we'll analyze Optimus' latest innovation and predict its commercialization next year. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. Over the past weekend, Tesla's Optimus account on X shared a video capturing scenes of a humanoid robot walking around one of its test facilities, accompanied by the caption, Getting My Daily Steps In. Upon reviewing previous videos around the time of the Tesla Bot Gen 2 release, it's easy to notice that in the latest video, it seems to be a newer version, or at least an improved one in terms of movement speed, accompanied by distinct enhancements in foot placement, particularly in the toe area. What has Tesla improved in the latest Optimus update? Initially, this may seem unremarkable, but lifting the foot is crucial in the way that the robot moves, helping Optimus take lighter steps and accelerate faster. In this video tweet, Tesla's Optimus technical lead, Milan Kovac, revealed that Optimus has achieved its fastest movement speed to date, reaching approximately 0.6 meters per second, representing a more than 30% increase compared to the previous Gen 2 in December. In the present context, this means that the current speed of the Optimus robot will allow it to travel at 1.3 miles per hour, a figure significantly different from the speculated 5 miles per hour that we usually hear. This may be Tesla's long-term target throughout the development lifecycle of this robot. Just imagine if they continue this 30% acceleration trajectory over the next 6 months or until its release next year. That would result in a three-fold increase from the initial 30% acceleration rate. Scott Walker, a pioneer in robot offline programming, states that the confident movements, smooth rotations, 130 steps in 78 seconds, are generally very impressive. For a humanoid robot, a speed of 1.67 steps per second is quite stable, with each step covering more than one foot. Overall, the motions are very fluid, with exceptional rotational capability, and there is anticipation to see its turning capabilities unfold. At the end of last year, when unveiling the Optimus Gen 2, Musk also mentioned that he hoped Optimus could thread a needle this year, and the initial statements about the cost of the humanoid robot indicated that it could be under $20,000 once Tesla starts selling these devices. For us, it might end up being priced higher, as we all know Tesla is not particularly adept at keeping promises regarding prices. Since the introduction of Optimus Gen 2, aside from performing squad movements, maintaining balance, and holding and arranging eggs, in January, the manufacturer also shared that it can fold a shirt. Alongside this, at the end of January, Elon Musk also shared another video of the naked prototype of Optimus Gen 2 walking without an outer shell. Now the question is whether the Tesla bot is effective enough at this speed. With a speed of 1.3 miles per hour, Optimus might be sufficiently agile for moving around a factory. Compared to humans, Optimus' speed is noteworthy as the average best walking speed for humans is often considered to be around 3 miles per hour. Although not 5 miles an hour is initially speculated, this speed is still a significant achievement, leading us to contemplate Optimus' potential for efficient movement within the Tesla factory environment. With its stable and consistent movement capabilities, we believe that a speed of around 2 to 1.5 miles per hour might be a reasonable choice for Optimus within the factory setting and Tesla could achieve such figures in subsequent upgrades, possibly in Gen 3. This allows the robot to navigate through transition points in production areas flexibly without disrupting the manufacturing process. This speed not only helps Optimus conserve energy, but also maintains the necessary stability for movement in the highly mechanized production environment of the Tesla factory. The truth is, for some tasks, mobility and movement can be an advantage. But that's not the case for all situations. What customers as well as Tesla may prioritize more is the precision with which the robot performs its tasks. We can find tasks that don't necessarily require walking, such as organizing items, folding clothes, using a vacuum cleaner, etc. And Optimus can still excel in these tasks. In such cases, speed may not necessarily be the top priority. 
In the role of a customer, we believe that Tesla should focus on two main aspects, one of which is clearly the upper body because often in most tasks, what matters is how efficiently Optimus can move its arms and the 11 degrees of freedom in the hand are truly sufficient for it to perform a variety of tasks. Up to now, we don't know the specific recharge time for Optimus with the 2.3 kilowatt hour battery. It could be an entire day or around three or four hours. In the case of recharging, the factories may have wireless charging options. And in another scenario, they might have charging stations with a recharge time of about 5 to 15 minutes, as a small battery doesn't require as much charging time as an electric vehicle. Kern Basher, CFA and the founder of Brilliant Advice, also joined the discussion when proposing the milestone image depicting the process that Tesla will undertake with Optimus. And he remarked that everything is progressing beautifully. The Tesla team's doing really well. According to the milestones he shared, in this phase, Tesla is heavily investing in Optimus's walking capability and then transitioning to diverse operations with the hands to ultimately accomplish useful tasks. Returning to Milan Kovacs sharing, these improvements not only stop at speed, but also have a profound impact on the structure and stability of the robot. According to Tesla, they've improved the vestibular system, their foot trajectory, and ground contact logic. At the same time, they also upgraded the motion planner and made cuts to the loop latency across the bot. All this makes Optimus more stable and confident, even during turning maneuvers. Another noteworthy point mentioned by Milan Kovac is the addition of a slight torso and arms that sway. While that seems like a small detail, this addition helps create a more natural movement, making the robot more approachable and flexible in its surrounding environment. After all, this time Optimus is moving confidently to avoid being compared to Joe Biden. We don't see any connecting wires, which makes us very happy. It might be following a Bezier curve, as it doesn't touch any point on the floor and passes through some X marks. If you look closely, you'll see many X marks on the floor, even though they're not touched. We do think that they're markers for the path that Optimus plans to be following. In terms of speculation, you might wonder if it's remotely controlled or autonomous. But we believe this is its environmental analysis capability. It might just be following these symbols. Optimus has demonstrated very good balance and stable movement. This is more important than whether the manufacturer is using any tricks. Tesla's improvements are not only a significant step in robot technology, but also evident of their commitment to continuously enhance the performance and capabilities of their products. With these advancements, Optimus plans to become a reliable partner in various application fields from manufacturing to services, and even exploring new spaces. What challenges will Tesla overcome to keep up with the Optimus 2025 sales schedule? Tesla CEO Elon Musk has previously said that most of Tesla's long-term value is going to come from robots and is expected to sell significantly more robots than cars. Indeed, Musk even stated that the demand for robots could reach 10 to 20 billion units more than the number of people on the planet. So opening sales next year is considered a good sign for Elon as he may soon earn huge revenue from this technology. But is it really as easy as it is for a robot with the most advanced AI integration in the humanoid robot market? Definitely not as easy as we think. To develop Optimus faster and more advanced, the manufacturer is required to have a full team of engineers dedicated to this technology. A few weeks ago, the number of vacancies for the Optimus project was still lacking at at least 61 positions to include systems engineer, staff systems engineer, manufacturing engineer for Tesla bot functional testing, photo production supervisor for humanoid actuators, and mechatronics engineering technician. We need to admit that the number of Tesla bots that can hit the market will not be large until Tesla builds a strong team of engineers in a separate facility that's large and modern enough at least if the manufacturer wants to achieve the goal of a million robots sold every year. Is developing robotics hardware a big challenge for Tesla? In August 2023, when commenting on X that Tesla Optimus robot is not so much about making hardware as it is about FSD and that it makes a future money-making machine the world has not yet to see, Musk frankly responded, the hardware is actually extremely difficult, referring to the Optimus robot. This becomes particularly noteworthy because Musk is often renowned for his optimistic vision regarding the potential of technology. His willingness to openly acknowledge the significant challenges of hardware for Optimus is indeed a significant step, providing a clear awareness of the complexity and demanding nature of creating both an efficient and safe humanoid robot. The hardware capabilities of Optimus are not just a simple technical issue, but a multi-dimensional challenge. Firstly, the robot must have the ability to move flexibly and confidently 
requiring a delicate combination of joints, drivetrain, and sensors. Secondly, the robot needs to be capable of interacting with the physical world in a meaningful way, demanding the ability to grasp and manipulate objects, as well as sense both force and pressure. Currently, Tesla is doing fairly well in this aspect, but for commercialization, it's certainly not enough as customers will expect a robot capable of doing more tasks. Thirdly, the robot needs to have the capability to operate autonomously for an extended period. This requires a powerful and efficient energy source, as well as the ability to make decisions independently. While the hardware challenges of Optimus may be substantial, Musk and his team at Tesla have made significant progress in a pretty short period. Optimus has been demonstrated to walk, can move objects, and perform simple tasks. Why does Optimus need time to convince customers and audiences before its launch? Not only encountering numerous hardware-related issues, but Optimus, considered the most intelligent humanoid robot today, also triggers a strong wave of opposition from the majority concerned about the AI software it contains. The primary concern is that Optimus robots could be used to automate jobs, leading to unemployment. More frightening is the hypothesis that it could be employed for nefarious purposes, such as surveillance or even warfare. We're not sure if you've heard Musk's commitment to not create a destructive force, but according to us, he's trustworthy. Musk has repeatedly warned about the future danger of AI, which could potentially surpass human control and be more dangerous than nuclear weapons. Of course, one cannot hastily conclude the absolute safety of Optimus, but at least Musk has assured us about the technology. Why is Tesla trying to upgrade the utility of Optimus during this period? In preparation for the release of Optimus next year, according to Tesla executives, the main barrier in the Optimus project is the humanoid robot's utility. Just a comment on the barrier, I think the barrier, and we talked about this, is like getting to actually do something useful. Like, we can get it to walk around, we can get it to do things, but it's like, that's the utility part, noted a Tesla executive during a fourth quarter Tesla and full year 2023 earnings call. Indeed, Optimus's robots possess remarkable abilities. They move gracefully. Their mechanical limbs perform complex operations with precision. However, beyond these impressive feats, there's a fundamental question. What purpose do they serve in people's lives? The challenge grows as engineers and designers grapple with the task of equipping these humanoid machines with practical functions. It's not merely a demonstration of technological prowess, but also ensures that these robots become indispensable assets seamlessly integrated into various spheres of human existence. Enhanced efforts to unlock the true potential of Optimus, brainstorming sessions that bristle with creative energy as minds converge to come up with innovative solutions. From household chores to assisting people with complex tasks, Optimus's vision extends from novelty to true utility. Nancy Cook, a professor of human system engineering at Arizona State University in the U.S., has mentioned that for Tesla to succeed with Optimus, it needs to be adaptive in various situations and perform more improvisational actions rather than basic scripted movements like moving around or jumping without pre-programming, as done by Boston Dynamics. If the company can truly create such a product, it would indeed be a significant boost for Tesla's stock. A significant challenge for Tesla is arising from maintaining an affordable price for the Optimus robot, a highly anticipated and promising product. While the demand for a utility robot is steadily increasing, especially in today's technological age, its price remains a crucial determining factor. For the majority of consumers, a robot capable of performing various useful tasks while still being priced in the range of twenty dollars to $40,000 is seen as both a reasonable and attractive choice. Tesla needs to address challenges related to production costs and research and development to maintain a market-expected affordable price. Currently, advancements in artificial intelligence and robotics can contribute to minimizing production costs and optimizing the performance of the Tesla robot. However, simultaneously maintaining quality and unique features is another challenge that needs to be addressed. Finally, a concerning aspect surrounding the Optimus robot is the lack of transparency from Tesla. The company has provided limited information about the current capabilities of the robot and the progress made in its development. This lack of transparency, coupled with Musk's tendencies to make grandiose statements, has led to unrealistic expectations and speculations about what the robot can truly achieve. Before hitting the market next year, Tesla may conduct preliminary functional tests of Optimus within its factory model later this year. Manufacturing and electric vehicle expert Sandy Monroe stated the Tesla bot could perform all tasks on the assembly line after being invited to tour Tesla's factories. He believes that Tesla bot could be on the actual Tesla production line by the end of 2024. 
If this turns out to be true, Tesla could potentially produce tens of thousands of Tesla bots by 2025 to increase production capacity and reduce costs in their factories and potentially offer for sale. In the future, when the Optimus robot takes over many manual tasks, we might find ourselves needing to walk less. If Tesla can implement this quickly and at an affordable price, it's evident that their stock prices could skyrocket. There are numerous potential applications for Optimus and its variants, undoubtedly facing significant competition from other manufacturers. So, what's your impression of the latest update on the mobility capabilities of Optimus? And what do you think Tesla needs to focus on in terms of a humanoid robot features for it to become a significant stock driver for the company in the coming years? We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.